Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the vlog. So, in my last video, I kind of gave you guys a side-by-side -side look at the iPhone X and the Galaxy S8. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two cameras um, on the front facing and the rear facing on both phones. I have them both mounted to a uh, multiple rig setup here and um, I'm just going to give you an idea of what you're going to expect out of each camera. This is going to get really confusing trying to remember which phone is which. Please bear with, but this is just a video to show you what you can expect from each camera. Um, so right now you're looking at the front facing camera and I'm currently sitting in my normal vlogging position and I'm using an overhead um, CFL bulb. So the iPhone 10 is on the warmer side and the Galaxy S8 is on the cooler side where I see a little bit of blue tint to back the wall behind me. If I look at the field of view, they're both recording at their maximum front facing cam resolution and it appears that the iPhone 10 has a further back wider field of view than the Galaxy S8. If I get closer to the screen, I'm looking at, it looks like I got a lot more detail in the Galaxy, I mean in the iPhone 10 than I do in the Galaxy S8. Also, the Galaxy S8 starts hunting. So, let's flip these cameras around, let's take them outside, do a little walk outside with them so you can see the outside conditions on the rear facing camera, differences in color. I want to leave it at 1080 60. I want to see if I can do some photos with it <clears throat> so you can get an idea of what the photos look like at the same distance. Try to get some macro. Maybe I'll also try to do some of the telephoto with the iPhone 10 to see what difference you get in when you zoom in on an object. So let me flip the cameras around. Let's take it outside and see how it works.